In an instant, it can happen to you. You'll hear it first, then possibly see the threat. But make no mistake, how you act in the next few instants can be the difference between life and death. If you should find yourself in an active shooter situation, remember you only have three options. Hi, I'm Natalie Brown. And I'm Bryce Mansfield. You have to act quickly as soon as danger looms. The three keys to surviving are run, hide, and fight. Your first option is to run away. Your second option is to hide in the safest place that you can possibly find. And your last option is to fight. You should always be aware of your surroundings when you enter in public spaces. Know where to run or hide when there's an active shooter. In many cases, the way you react will ensure your survival, and you need to use the crucial minutes before police arrive to safeguard yourself and your group. Your first option, run. If you can escape without the shooter seeing you, then get out safely. You should get as far away as possible and then call 911. Be certain to tell them where you are and where the shooter is. Tell them what you saw. Describe the shooter, especially their clothes, the type of weapon, how many shots you heard, if there are any injuries, and give them your callback number. You may have to get creative and go out a window. Remember to remain calm and quiet. Leave everything behind, including the injured. Help will be there soon. Keep in mind you have to be decisive. Commit instantly to a course of action and stick with it. When danger becomes apparent, like you hear gunshots or see a shooter, your second option is to hide. Don't expect the shooter to spend a lot of time searching. You have no idea what their motives are. Turn off the lights, lock the door, bar the door, and crouch behind anything large. Don't make a sound. Put obstacles between you and the danger. Spread out. Don't create an easy target. Don't be lured out by the shooter. Make sure you wait for the all clear. And remember, you have seconds to act. It will be disorienting and frightening, but having the presence of mind to react quickly can mean your survival. Keep your phones silent and out of sight. The screen will illuminate your face. Keep absolutely silent. The extra time it takes to force a door open or find someone means that the shooter will move on. The more difficult it is for the shooter, the better off you are. You've hidden from the danger. The most difficult option you have is to fight. Research shows that groups that commit to fighting save lives. Remember, fight as if your life depends on it. Keep in mind the shooter carries a powerful weapon that has left bodies in its wake. He is not expecting to defend himself. Your attack will shock him and gain you precious seconds. You can improvise weapons. Throw anything at the shooter. The bigger, the better. You can throw a book or a backpack, a fire extinguisher or a chair. You can even hurl a desk or a computer at them. They are not expecting a fight. Rush the shooter is a large group, yelling and screaming. Statistics show that active shooters are apprehended within five minutes. In some instances, they are stopped by their intended victims. Police are just seconds away and they are looking for the active shooter only. Let them know where he is if you can. Keep your hands up and fingers spread. Do not approach police. Stay quiet unless you are asked something and avoid any sudden movements. Don't ask for help, and once you are safe, leave with your hands up. Their first priority is finding the shooter. Let them do that. You can evacuate once safe in the same direction the officers took. The unprepared react to danger with paralysis. They want to run, they want to hide, they want to fight, but they're unable to do so. That's why we emphasize preparation for these three simple options in an active shooter situation. Facing an active shooter is unlikely, but it's important to be prepared. Note your surroundings as you walk around campus and know where the exits are. You should always have two in mind. That way you know where to run. You should vary your routines across campus and be familiar with how to escape. Also, take note of places to hide. And most importantly, steal yourself for the fight of your life. The most important seconds of your life are in your hands. Always be aware of how you will run, hide, and fight.